I don't think I have ever looked this fabulous. Basically, you get a book sent to you, like, I think it's every month. A little musty. This idiot person who's pretending to be me on Instagram. Anybody want to manage me? it is. I don't know if this is an extension of a vlog or if this is a start to a new vlog. If it's a start to a new vlog, hi, I'm Cassandra Joy. Welcome to my channel. I colored my hair last night. It looks so good. It's darker than it was, which makes me very happy because I've kind of been wanting it like a shade or two darker, just a shade or two. And this is perfect. Feeling some <laughs> slight Adam's Family vibes because <laughs> pasty pale and dark hair, but that's okay. I'm about to do a face mask. I just got it in my Ipsy box. It's called Bubble Tea Hibiscus and Acai Berry Tea. I've heard Acai Berry is really good for your stomach if you're experiencing any tummy issues. I'm just chilling on my couch. I'm gonna edit a vlog that hasn't gone up yet, but hopefully will by this weekend. I did upload a vlog early, I think on, was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Anyway, you can watch it right here. I think I'd like to clean today. I haven't properly cleaned in a couple of days and I think it's time. I think it's time, but first, face mask. Just heating up my coffee from yesterday. I'm gonna be adding some Swiss mocha to it or, ooh, or I could add some Cafe Francais. That actually sounds kind of good. To give the coffee a little bit of something, something. I look, I don't think I have ever looked this fabulous. I'm just that attractive right now. You really gotta be careful when wearing a mask because all the boys are gonna come to your front door. You're gonna have to say, look, I know I look super attractive right now, but I just can't date all of you. the next like half an hour reading because I never ever just sit down and read that's why I love audiobooks so much but I wanted to show you a couple of my current favorite books right now I'm not gonna save the best for last because I think it's just that good to mention first this is the book Peter Pan by Jan Barry but what's special about it you'll notice this really pretty cover this is hand-painted by someone who works with or for the company Pixie Dust. They're on Instagram. They're such a cool company. Basically, you get a book sent to you, like, I think it's every month. They started with the Chronicles of Narnia series. And on their store, they also had the book Peter Pan for purchase. So this is what the book actually looks like. Very classic and ornate and just like, oh. The stars are engraved into the book. It's just so pretty. And it's an illustrated classic. So I didn't realize that. Inside, throughout the entire book, you get pictures, beautiful artwork to help you imagine what's happening in the story of Peter Pan. But the reason I wanted to mention Pixie Dust is because they are so sweet. I ordered this a few months ago and noticed that it wasn't coming in. <laughs> And I thought, well, maybe it got delayed. I'll just email them and check. So I emailed them and it's like, hey, I ordered this. I haven't seen it. Just wanted to see what's up. They were so sweet. I think her name was Melanie. Is that right? I want to I wanna make sure. Melanie, yes. So Melanie responded with the sweetest message. She said, I'm so sorry. I completely overlooked it. I will send it out to you tomorrow. Within a few days, I got the book with this beautiful one-of-a-kind cover and some extra goodies that she did not have to send me but was so sweet to do so one of them was a little bookmark another was a little tiny jar with fairy lights in it so cute I love fairy lights this isn't a book I'm planning on reading right now I just had to share it because it's such a cute cover I think it's still available on their store if you like classics like me and Peter Pan is one of your favorite stories, this is the perfect gift to give yourself. I will show you their 
Instagram really quick. They're not asking me to do this, by the way. They were just so beyond sweet with their customer service. I just want to give them a shout out. Their Instagram is, can you see that? There we go. So here's their Instagram handle, pixie underscore dust underscore official. And they have the cutest feed featuring the books that they send out to people. Just the cutest little business. And I guess she does it out of her home. I just love their business so much. I love that this is something they do. Just wanted to give them a little quick shout out. These are three books I will probably end up reading. The first is Red Riding Hood. Such a cute story. There's a movie with Amanda Seyfried in it, almost verbatim what the book is. I was pretty impressed by that, but the book is so good. It's one of those kind of twisted fairy tale types that I just can't get enough of. The next one is this Now You Die book uh, by Christiane Hagen. If you want to know more about the story, you can watch my video right here where I talk about all of my favorite movies and books for autumn. And then the third one is a new book that I purchased and haven't opened yet. It's called The Lake House, not to be confused with The Lake House movie. I thought that might be what it was until I read the description and it's not. It's a murder mystery concerning a child in a family um, and basically I think the murder was covered up if I remember right and so this detective is trying to figure out what's going on but it's been a million years so um, she has to talk to the now aged family members um, who may or may not still be lying about the murder so I'm just gonna snuggle up on my lovely couch which I love I love my couch and do some reading Hey loves, it's a little later in the day. I think I want to start cleaning up up here because we are in dire straits right now. My mom agreed to come help me, so I think that's what I'm gonna be doing for the remainder of the morning. And then I'll have the afternoon to just chill out. Ooh, smells a little musty. We might need to wipe it out, but there's dust in there. Yeah, there is. So I've got my Christmas bin here and I've got this huge <laughs> industrial bin. I'm going to transfer my Christmas stuff into here because it just doesn't fit in my bin that I have. So I'm going to wipe this sucker out and then transfer all my Christmas stuff and get it out of my living room. Kind of stuff really satisfying because it just feels like a huge game of Tetris. <laughs> just gotta figure out how everything fits together. taken a break <laughs> from cleaning. My parents have returned to their domain downstairs. I'm still up here, still working, but I took a break for a few minutes. But I wanted to show you some of the things I was able to get done. It's not done, we're far from done, but a few things I did finish and get accomplished and super proud of. So many of you remember my dish cabinet. What you may not remember is that there was cabinet in front of this cabinet because we had nowhere else to put it. We have since moved that cabinet over here and then I was finally able to put away my Tupperware. So if you open these down here. This was basically like a huge Tetris game and it took forever because I tried multiple ways of stacking and I couldn't stack because I don't know if you can see, but the ceiling of this goes up higher than this lip allows. So it would fit if it was in there, but then I couldn't get it back out again. So there, there, it was a lot of complicated shuffling. And then finally I was able to get it all organized. So that's one thing that I was able to get done today. Oops. 
Also, for those of you who are wondering, my parents actually made this for me. We bought the cabinet secondhand at the Three Weird Sisters shop here in town. The secret behind the design on these drawers is that my mom had the bright idea to put lace over top and then spray paint over top the lace so that the color came through with the pattern. It was the coolest idea ever and it turned out so well. And it just adds a whole lot of character to this cabinet. I'm super in love with it. It's like one of my favorite things I own. Pieces of stuff were removed from over here. Lots of things were donated to charity. My cabinet, which was inconveniently placed in front of my dishes cabinet, has now been moved over here. And I've put my piano on top of it just to save some room. It's not the most pleasing to look at, but it's very functional. So this is basically the cabinet where all of my music stuff resides. And then I have tons of drawers that I haven't seen or touched in, in years, I want to say. <laughs> not my proudest moment, but I'm going to go through all these and then I think I'm going to call it a day. You can tell it's the end of the day because my hair is up in the most unattractive bun <laughs> known to humankind. Basically, it's the end of the day. I've had my dinner. I cleaned up my vanity. It was great and I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I actually feel really productive, so I have, you know, I have a vlog channel and an ASMR channel, and I noticed that I was following the same person twice a lot, so I just spent the last 45 minutes going through both subscription lists and <laughs> organizing them. On my ASMR channel, I have ASMR content and music, and I think that's it. Might be a couple random things over there. And then on my vlog channel, I have lots of vlogging content, artsy content, like painting and things like that. Just more like cheery, happy, bubbly kind of content that I like to watch. So I've just like, I feel so proud of myself and I know it's such a little thing, but it feels so nice to have those things organized now. And I'm not gonna get like two notifications. Oh, on this channel, so-and-so posted a video. And on this channel, so-and-so posted a video. Anyway, it's late. I'm delirious. I'm gonna head to bed. <laughs> Good night. Mwah. Good morning, loves. It is day seven of quarantine for me. I've got a couple things planned for today. I asked you all on Instagram, follow me right here if you don't, what you guys wanna see because my <laughs> inspiration for videos is dwindling. I seem to be filming the same things over and over and I just don't feel like that's something you guys would want to continually see the same content over and over. So I asked y'all on Instagram what you wanted to see and you gave me some really cool suggestions. I need to go to the store today. I am dwindling on groceries so um, I want to pick up a couple things there. Plus it just gives me an excuse to get out of the house. Don't worry I will not be standing close to anyone. <laughs> I will be avoiding them like they have the plague. I did my makeup for the first time in forever. I kind of forgot how to do it. It had been so long. <laughs> um, which I never thought would be a thing. But yeah. I even added some highlight, guys. I was serious about glamming up today. For no reason. There's nowhere to go. I'm not seeing anybody. Just because I wanted to. The cleaning saga of the loft will continue this morning. And you know the other saga that's continuing? this idiot person who's pretending to be me on Instagram and faking people into following them and then scamming them. It's been a real treat dealing with all that. So um, if you didn't know, there's an account called Cassandra Joy 2020 who has decided to steal my bio, steal my photos, and steal my followers, <laughs> pretending to be me, making them hop over to their account and then trying to scam them. Something about Google Hangouts. I don't know. But uh, yeah, if they've done that to you, please know that Castaway Music is the only Instagram account that I have and ever plan on having. I will let you know if there's ever a name change, but uh, yeah, that person's not me. So just wanted to give you a little friendly reminder if you didn't know that. It's really been fun to play with makeup after coloring my hair because I feel like that changes the colors you can wear. If you're blonde, you can only wear these kind of things that flatter blonde hair better. If you're a light brunette you can wear these colors if you're a dark brunette <laughs> I clearly went for some bronzy coppery goodness I need to put my glasses back on because I can't see I can see you but I can't see far away <laughs> oh they're dirty hold on that's better so I'm gonna go to the grocery really quick I'm gonna 
see if I can snag some coffee at somewhere. Although I did just make coffee. Totally forgot. <laughs> That's okay. I'll heat it up when I get back. I think in the afternoon I'd like to film a haul video just of all the random stuff I've picked up over the past few weeks. Things I've been loving, things I've picked up, things I can't get enough of. I'm just trying to think of some other cozy, entertaining content you guys might enjoy. So I think I might film something like that later on today. I'm trying to fill my days with as much productivity as possible because I know that once work starts back up again, who knows when that'll happen, not in a rush for it to return, um, everything productive will stop because the majority of my time will be taken up by working because that's normal. It's also why I'm on the search for a job that allows me to work from home. It's also why I'm very interested in school because that would allow me to work from home without actually working. Well, I was going to use this bowl, but that's gross, so I'm not gonna use that bowl. I'm gonna get a clean one. Oh. Gavin, yeah. I'm gonna use one of these today. I love these bowls because of the Aztec design on them, but the problem is they discolor. Can, can you see that? They discolor when they get wet, and that really annoys me. <laughs> Maybe I should just embrace the imperfection, but that also tells me why they were on clearance at Kroger because of that problem. Yesterday was an editing day. I didn't film a thing, but I did get a vlog uploaded, which was really fun. If you guys haven't seen that, I will link that right here. It's really cute. I, I enjoyed it. I'll be honest, I enjoy filming far more than I enjoy editing because editing takes so freaking long because I am a perfectionist of that kind of stuff. And I film so much footage. I usually have an hour's worth of footage that I have to sift through and knock that down to 20 to 30 minutes long, which doesn't sound very hard, but let me tell you, it's like a four hour editing job. When you're in quarantine, that's great. <laughs> when you're not and you have a full-time job, not so easy. So uh, I'm just trying to take advantage of the time I have. I know last week I uploaded early just for fun, just because I felt like everybody needed a little bit of a bonus video, you know? But I also realized how not helpful that is for my health because <laughs> now I'm not ahead anymore. I was ahead with my content, now I'm not. So I think from now on I'm gonna stick to the uploading every weekend thing and hopefully this time will give me time to get ahead and actually have some videos waiting to be uploaded. Wouldn't that be nice? Ooh, it's a little chilly out this morning. I think if there wasn't a breeze, it'd be fine, but because there is, it's a little nippy. So, I'm off to Kroger to get a couple things. I want to get some rotisserie chicken sliced up, like sandwich meat sliced. I need to get some milk. I don't need tortilla chips, but I would like tortilla chips. Those are the two main staples. I think I might just kind of browse and see if I need anything else. I know that's a very dangerous tactic to take, but I don't, I don't make lists. Once I'm in my car, I don't want to go back up there to try to make a list. It's just, it's too much effort. So we're just going to hopefully not spend a lot and um, just kind of see what we find. It also probably wasn't the smartest to go at 12.30 in the middle of the day when everybody else is going to be there, but eh. So, wish me luck. I think I'm going to grab a cart from the inside because none of these have been sanitized and, you know, better safe than sorry. Well, whether I wanted to get my exercise in today or not, I don't have a choice because they closed the doors behind me. Blocked those off, so we have to use these doors. Of course, I parked way on the other side, not knowing this information. Guess I'm getting a workout in. Look at all the Easter stuff. Oh. I'm in the candy aisle, which is a special kind of torture because I can't eat 99% of this stuff because it probably is contaminated with peanuts. But I'm looking for Dove chocolate, which sometimes I can find here or I may have to go to the dedicated chocolate area. Ooh.
Oh, this is dark chocolate. Hmm, not quite what I was wanting. Here's some milk. Oh, that's good. milk and coconut cream. Man, I'm really striking out. I think I might have to go to the normal candy aisle because I don't think the Easter stuff has what I want. I always like to take a peek at the clearance stuff just to see if there's anything worth taking home. I don't really spot anything. Ooh. This is cool. Oh, it's a candle. That's pretty. I love anything with stars or moon kind of symbols on it. But I don't need another candle. Off to my long trek back to my car. To my car. I got my workout in for the day. That was good. Got everything I needed. Sanitized my hands before I left the store. I think I'm all good. Let me give you a little haul of what all I got. So the first thing I got was some rotisserie chicken. It's so good when it's sliced. Perfect for sandwiches. I got some tiny, tiny little Sprite pans. Sprite is my favorite and I've actually been staying away from Pop. I've been doing a good job staying away from Pop, but this is my little treat to myself because I just, I have a headache and I just kind of feel like Sprite might help. <laughs> I got myself some Simply Orange Orange Juice, pulp free for uh, a particular follower of mine, <coughs> Nicole, who loves pulp, pulp free. <laughs> and then the other thing I bought, which was totally an impulse buy, it's by Silk and it's their Mocha Almond and Oat Latte. I can't tell if this is kind of like a creamer or if this is the latte and you just put ice in it. I don't know. This is totally an impulse buy. I didn't even look at the ingredients, which was probably not smart. Peanuts are not a tree nut, are they? They grow from the ground. Because it said may contain other tree nuts. But it runs in my mind that peanuts are not tree nuts. So I might be okay. Got some Dove chocolate, of course. And then also impulse bought two cookie dough options. This one is for my parents. It's Toll House Pecan Turtle Delight. It's just cookie dough that you put in the oven and it makes cookies super easy. And then for me, every single cookie dough I looked at said may contain peanuts. And I was like, well, what am I supposed to do? I want to bake cookies, but I don't want to risk anything. So then I found this brand called Sweet Lauren's. It's chocolate chunk cookie dough, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, peanut and tree nut free. I couldn't have found a better cookie dough if I had tried, so <laughs> I'm going to try to um, bake these up at some point. Not sure if that'll be today or if that'll be a, a segment for a future vlog, but that's all the stuff I bought. And don't judge me, but I am absolutely going to drink <laughs> Sprite right now. Shopping makes me thirsty, don't judge me. Off home. Hey loves, I haven't vlogged in a bit because I just got a really bad headache. So I took a rest, not a nap, just a rest to try to wait for the medicine to kick in and have it go away. And I think it has, I just now feel like Sometimes when you have migraines, like I do, it can leave you feeling like you've just had an epic battle in your head. So there's no pain anymore, but you feel exhausted. So that's kind of where I'm at, is the exhaustion part. But I realized that I hadn't done something that I said I would do after getting home from the grocery. Can't believe I forgot. The headache made me forget. Mainly, have my coffee. That's definitely more than likely pulled right now. So we're gonna have to heat it up. But I want to, um, excuse me, I need in my refrigerator, please. I want to try this stuff with it this time and see if the two combined taste any good. Do you like this sign, by the way? I got it at the dollar store. Super cute, love the wood accents, wood beads. And it has a Bible verse that says, do not be afraid, just believe. Which I feel like is an encouragement we could all 
take to heart right now. This is a good angle. Okay, good to know. I have you propped up against my cooking books. First sip, let's see how it tastes. I heated it up a little bit because it lost some of its heat when I poured the oh, milk in. Ooh, that's good. That's very like chocolatey. I think that's the mocha coming through. Oh, that's so good. Oh my word. I just want to warm my hands with it. Do you ever do that? Make a warm beverage, not really to drink, but just to warm your hand? <clears throat> I mean, I wouldn't know anything about that. I think I just want some comfort food. So I think I want to chop up some potatoes. Put it in a bowl, put a little butter in it, put it in the microwave, mush it up, and eat it for an afternoon snack. I've been watching some Rhiannon Ashley vlogs. It was a random recommendation that YouTube pulled up, and I'm so happy that it recommended it because I'm now in love with her channel. It's very, it's very Zoe Sugg vlogs if Zoe was a mom. Rhiannon has such a pretty British quiet reserved voice and is so relaxing to listen to. She's a gem with her little girl who is adorable by the way and she does a lot of home vlogs, shopping vlogs, parenting vlogs. Like it's just really wholesome and so sweet and I am now obsessed. So that's my uh, YouTube channel recommendation of the day. It's really funny, I went back to her oldest vlog because sometimes I like to see where YouTubers began, like what age were they, how, how was their content at the time. Let me just tell you, I'm pretty sure it was the shakiest camera ever. Not that I have any room to talk because my hands aren't the steadiest when I'm filming, but I do try my best. But it's just so interesting. Her partner were dating at the time, they hadn't had a baby, it's just like... So cool to see where YouTubers began with a very little following and how that, how being on YouTube for a few years totally changed their life. She's got brand deals now. I think she has management now, which would be great. Anybody want to manage me? Maybe someday when I have enough followers and enough views to allow me to earn enough money to not have to work, that would be great. Also, while I was putting the shopping away, I realized that the whole reason I went to the grocery store was for milk. And the one thing I came home without was milk. I got everything else, I just, I just forgot milk. I am very much enjoying my coffee concoction. I'm basically trying a bunch of different concoctions to try to like fool my brain into thinking that I'm at a really fancy coffee shop. It's not fooled, but at least my taste buds are happy. Hello, loves. It's a little bit later. I decided that I was bored. I wanted to do something. So I'm going to be baking some cookies. When I asked on my Instagram what kind of things you'd like to see in my vlogs, one of you said baking. You know who you are. I decided that I would bake a couple of batches of cookies. So this one is for me. It's called Sweet Lauren's. Um, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, and peanut and tree nut. And I just had a bite of the cookie dough and it's delicious. So I think we're good. And then I bought this for my parents. It's pecan turtle delight. Not my thing, but I know my parents will like it. So I'm gonna bake them those cookies. All right, mom has a little peanut gallery comment to add. What did you just say? Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not that great at baking. Maybe I'll save the baking from scratch for another vlog. There is a lemon drizzle cake I'd really like to make, but we'll see. Well, we're gonna bake cookies anyway, and they're gonna be delicious. So one of the cookies says we need to preheat at 350, and the other says 325. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna do the 325, and then bake the 350 cookies just a little longer. I've got two baking sheets right here.
things in the oven. I'm a little worried about these because they're on the bigger side because I couldn't break them evenly, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. I think the top ones are done. I don't think the bottom ones are, but we'll take the top ones out. Oh, those ones got big. Cookie verdict? Good? Mm -hmm. Good. So is mine. Mm -mm. That was good. Cookies are done. They look so good. These are my cookies. And then these are mom and dad's. I think they turned out so well. They look so nice on these dishes. My cousin's husband made them. Their brand is called Simple Wears, if you guys are curious. They're on Instagram. Super cute and aesthetically pleasing. If you're into that, like I am. These are coming up with me.